Welcome to 101 Tips for Interviewers and Interrogators. I'm your host, Stan Walters, and this is tip number five. Glad to have you back. We're ready to talk about tip number five on our 101 tips. One of the most persistent myths that I've found in deception about interview and interrogation is that eye contact is a sign of deception. Do not trust eye contact as a tool to determine if a person is truthful or deceptive. There are hundreds of pieces of research showing that there is no correlation between a person's eye contact and deception. So think of some of the reasons a person will break eye contact that has nothing to do with deception. They could be embarrassed about the topic. It could be cultural. In some cultures, it's inappropriate to make extensive eye contact. It's just not done. Maybe that they're trying to dominate the interview. The type of eye contact the person gives can actually be too extensive. In fact, research shows that extensive eye contact is more common sign of deception than a break in eye contact. There's another myth that about you watch eye movement. If a person breaks eye contact to the left, they're recalling or constructing. If they break eye contact to the right, they're constructing. So if you ask a question, look to the left, they're recalling and that'll be the truth. If you ask, or ask a question, look and break eye contact to the right, they're constructing. So anybody who breaks eye contact to the right is being deceptive. Nothing further from the truth. I've documented over 100 studies showing that it's absolutely no link. That is a myth. I know it's perpetuated a lot on television, but it's also many of our academies. In fact, would you risk your life on that? That eye contact movement myth is only accurate 10% of the time. So don't trust eye contact as a tool to determine a person's truthful deceptive. In fact, if you spend too much time on body language, you miss the real message. Glad to be back with you. Please subscribe to the rest of the series. If you will, share with some other friends, pass this along, uh, send the link along from YouTube and have them take a look at it. Encourage them to join us on this series. Connect with me at Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Instagram, on Google+, and be sure to subscribe yourself. Now you can also check my website, theligod.com, for more information about classes and training and educational materials. See you back soon. We're going to look at tip number six.